Cortisol, as you usually may hear, is the stress hormone. You're probably like, what does that even mean? So basically, cortisol is the hormone that is released from our adrenal glands when we are in a stressful situation. The purpose of cortisol is like our body's natural alarm system. So it's basically supposed to help us in burst of stressful situations so that we can survive. Biologically, cortisol was meant to help with short bursts of stress. Before we were in this great modernized society, we used to be chased by saber-toothed tigers. So our stress would go up along with our adrenaline and that would help us get away from the saber-toothed tiger. But when our cortisol is heightened for longer periods of time, it inevitably causes problems. Imagine you see a, a saber-toothed tiger and it wants to eat you. My goodness, this is my saber-toothed tiger. And you're like, ah, saber-toothed tiger. All of the processes in your body are using energy. You need that energy to run away from the tiger. So what cortisol does is it shuts down the biological processes in your body so that you can have the energy to run away from the threat, run away from the thing that's causing the stress or have energy to fight or flight basically. So we definitely need it cortisol biologically. What has happened now is the saber-toothed tiger has been replaced with work and making sure you make it to that birthday party, maybe societal norms and technology. All of these things cause the same amount of stress on our brains and bodies that the saber-toothed tiger used to. So we're not actually in imminent danger, but we're still having the biological processes as if we are. When our cortisol is heightened for a longer period of time, then the processes in our bodies are shut off. 